Hey y'all, my name is Cassie and I am the creator of Pieces of Scrap and in today's video I wanted to kind of do like a vlog and as you can see behind me I got a new yarn order in. I am getting another one in this afternoon. This is from Joann's and I also ordered from Premier Yarns. I also bought a Centro knitting machine and I've done a couple of hats on it and I'm still kind of trying to figure out what exactly I need to do with it. Um, I bought it so that I could crank out hats a little faster and price them a little cheaper. Um, and I've also been doing a lot of market prep. So um, let's kind of start looking at what I've got going on here. So I ordered two of each of these colors. I've got the Bernat um, speckle yarn in three different colors. This is for chickens because I'm completely sold out of chickens except for one. And then I also got two colors of Bernat velvet yarn to make hats. These will be crocheted hats instead of knitting machine hats because I attempted to do a knitting machine hat with this light pink last night and it just didn't work out. It was coming out way too wide, like far too wide to fit on a head and the tension wasn't exactly what I wanted. I had it on the tightest tension and it was still coming out um, really, really wide, like way too wide for your head, but also it was just struggling to knit that tight of tension with this thick of yarn. Um, so I think I'm gonna stick with acrylic, cotton, worsted weight yarns, um, stuff like that because they come out a lot stretchier. Not that this is way too stretchy, I think is part of the problem. This is too stretchy to be doing a knitted hat. I also got this Bernat baby blanket in yellow because Premier Parfait was completely sold out of their yellow and it's hilarious because I told it to send me an alert when they're back in stock of their yellow and it just happened today and I'm getting the yarn today so <laughs> it's kind of funny. So yeah I've got all that yarn and then I've been making hats with the knitting machine. So far I've only made two. So I made this with the yarn that it came with. It's super long and I was following a tutorial that said to do 149 rows but this is just way too big. Um, it's so that you can fold the brim over, but even with the brim folded over, I think the brim is too much. And then it, I had to change colors three times, so it's reversible. The inside is warmer colors, and then the outside is the blue and the white. So you can either have a blue and white hat, or you can have a dual tone orange hat with the brim folded out like that. And it's really cute. It came out really cute. It fits really well. It's really stretchy. It's double lined, so it's like super, super warm. So that'll be perfect for Christmas and Crockett. And I think people will see more value in the reversible, um, you know, having two options of colors with their hats too. So I like that. Um, I also was messing around with how many rows I should do and this is I think like 110 rows or something like that. This one you can't fold over and have a brim but it still fits really well. Um, it's more of like a um, a beanie I guess instead of you know this one's a little bit more slouchy because there's more rows. This one's just kind of fitted to your head without any um, fold over. You can also see in here a couple times where it like skipped a stitch or it got a little looser. So like right there, you can see where I'm still kind of learning how this is supposed to go. I think I just need to crank a little slower and then maybe uh, adjust the tension a little bit and they should come out a little better. This one doesn't have any many, as many like skips in it. You can't really tell that there's um, some imperfections in it because it's just I think the tension was right on this one, especially this blue side. This blue side is the side that I started with and I was going much slower. So you can see the stitches are a lot more uniform. Whereas the inside part, um, this yarn is slightly thinner than this blue yarn on the inside. So the tension probably should have been tighter for this warmer colored yellowish yarn. So there's that. So I made two of these gonna make more. Um, in my premiere 
uh, ordered today. I ordered puzzle yarn, which should look really, really cool as hats. And I also got a painterly, I think is what it's called, a painterly yarn. So that will also look really cool as hats. So I will make hats once I get those yarns in the mail today. But I'm trying to use most of what I have already. So I've been making a lot of things. So I have four of these little elephants and I'm getting better at the face shaping so they actually look a little bit more like the photo in that pattern so these are getting really cute I made four little blue ones I might make some pink ones we'll see I made a brontosaur in my sherbert color this is a burnett baby blanket yarn I love love the color combination like it's so pretty it looks like like a little tie-dye rainbow or I keep calling it sherbet because it reminds me of sherbet ice cream. I made a couple budgie birds. I made a red one. I'm probably going to make another red one now that I have my yellow yarn. I completely ran out of this yellow so it was, for this one I had to embroider with a darker yellow. So there's a blue one and a red one. Those are pretty cute. I made a duckling. This isn't the duckling that I made. I made a different one because somebody had purchased this from me at church and they're giving it to a baby and they decided that they would rather have one with embroidered eyes so I made one with embroidered eyes and she traded me out she gave this one back to me and then I've been crazy crazy making bees this is my own pattern that I came up with recently to accommodate for this much thicker yarn so I've got these bees their wings are like a little bit more teardroppy instead of a um, magic circle with one row added onto this. Got 12 bees because these were a very good seller at my market so I'm I made more. The ones that we're selling are made with acrylic yarn but these are blanket yarn so I think they'll sell a little better and they're a very similar size to the ones that we're selling at the market so I think people will like these a lot more. I made a jellyfish. It's worked from the top down. You work um, these tentacles directly into the bottom of the um, oval circle shape, whatever you want to call it, the top part of the jellyfish, and then you close it up down here and add the stuffing and eyes and embroider a mouth on it. It comes out really cute. This is my first jellyfish ever. It takes a little longer than I would like it to, but it comes out really cute, and I think people will really like these. This is the last of my sherbet yarn. Um, I wish I had more. Before I ran out of my sherbet yarn, I made some mushrooms, made two kind of larger ones, and then I made a smaller one. This this was made with a six millimeter hook, and then this one's made with a 3.5 millimeter hook, I think, or a four millimeter hook. Um, I like how the bigger ones come out better because their, their cap isn't as pointed as this one is. This cap is a little more pointed. This Burnap Baby Blanket yarn is much thicker than Premier Parfait yarn, so I'm used to using a 3.5 millimeter look, hook with Premier Parfait because I don't get gapping in my stitches and stuff like that, especially around my decreases. Um, but I think that was too small. <laughs> As you can tell, I think, I think the bigger ones look better. I think the eyes, the bigger eyes look better too. I kind of had smaller eyes on this one, but I'm sure somebody will still take him. And then I have so many Triceratops, guys. So many Triceratops. I've got all of these Triceratops. They kind of fell over. I've got, I think I, I have six of the purple ones, three of the pink ones, two of the yellow ones, two of the blue ones. I don't have any green that's coming in my premiere order today, so I will make green once I get that yarn. But yeah, that's a lot of stuff that I've been making. This is over the past three or four days I've been making these things. I'm trying to rebuild my stock from the peanut festival. I sold out of nearly all of my plushies, like I was saying. I think I just have, um, I have gnomes, I have some bees, I have one chicken, I have a couple axolotls and a couple mini whales left, and that's basically all I have left in plushies, so I need to build up a lot more a lot more plushies. And I'm gonna start making cows once my yarns get here. I have stuff to make strawberry cows, I have stuff to make blueberry cows, I just wanna make cows too. And I need to make more brontosaurs because brontosaurs sold out like right away. 
people really like the brontosaurs and they also really like lots of other big things that take a lot of time that I will need to do once my yarn gets here today but yeah I will probably update you guys tomorrow once I have my premiere yarn order yeah let's just hang out and, and crochet together this week Hey y'all, it is Saturday morning and I got my yarn order in last night. Got this big old box here of yarn. I got pink, this is pink lemonade. I got three of these. I got some gray in the color fog and I got some ruby. And then I got this painterly color. It's supposed to make little strips of color in your white yarn, so it kind of looks like it's a uh, scrap yarn project. I'm gonna make a hat out of this. It's really, really soft. I'm so excited to use it. But yeah, I got the Bloom Chanel in Geranium and Tulip. I think these are really cute. This will make some cute like blueberry or pink lemonade or lemonade cows and then this will make some cute strawberry cows. I got two of the puzzle yarn in shimmer colors. This is the Jack's shimmer and this is the Cat's Cradle shimmer. I think they're really pretty and they'll make some cute hats. I'm completely out of green yarn so I got a bunch of green kiwi. Um, they didn't have the green in stock in Parfait Chunky, so I got it in the Basics Chanel. Also, it was almost out of white, so I got three skeins of white. I got navy and light blue. And then I got some brown. This is Teddy Bear. I got two skeins of this pink color. This is can Cotton Candy. And then I got some coral because they were out of orange. I had put it in my cart, and then by the time I clicked order, it was already out of stock. This is mango, and then I got, they were completely out of yellows too, so I got the Premier Basics Chanel Brights um, in, what color is this, lemon. So it's a little darker yellow than I am usually crocheting with, but it should work. And then I got a purple and two pinks. This is very berry is the pink and eggplant is the purple. And then I got a dark green. I was thinking I need like a dark red and a dark green that complement each other for Christmas stuff. Um, so this is emerald. And then I got two of these just blue. That's what it's called. Boring shade name, I know. But yeah, that's a huge yarn order. So I'm completely restocked. I'm actually so restocked that it all doesn't fit in my tote. So it's having to live in the boxes they came in while I kind of work through it. I've also been working on chickens. Yesterday I made six chickens. Well, I made these three chickens and then I, I finished the bodies of three more chickens in this color and then one more in the next color. And those are sitting in my workstation so that I can make the rest of the parts for them. 220 yards of yarn in that skein and I made six chickens. That's a very good profit value um, there. So. I sell each of my chickens for $16 each. I might increase that price. I need to time myself making a chicken and make sure that I had my time in there correctly. And then I'm also gonna take the 220 divided by six to determine how much exactly I'm using of that skein of yarn. And then that will determine if my pricing is correct for the chickens and I might adjust it. They were so popular last time that I think I can increase the price a little bit. Maybe do about $20 and people will still probably want to purchase them. But yeah, that, that's really, really encouraging to me because I got two of each color of uh, the speckle yarn. I have two of the pink speckle, two of the yellow speckle, and two of this dark uh, charcoal speckle. 
Um, so that should make 36 chickens if I uh, counted correctly. So that's really exciting. I also really wanted to show you guys, I've been working on a hedgehog pattern. This is the first draft of it. I, I like what he looks like. I think he obviously looks like a hedgehog. I just think his, the lighter color of his body needs to be a little bit wider and a little bit shorter. I think the overall size of it is a little too big. Um, so I just want to shrink him down and make him like a little chubbier, I think. So I am working on this. Um, I want to make this a free pattern on YouTube as a tutorial for people to learn how to make it. So if I have time today, I'll try to remake another version of this guy and see if I can get him to look any better. Hey y'all, so I haven't filmed to update this video in a little bit. I got really busy with work. I got really busy with market prepping and you know, filming me crocheting or talking or vlogging or whatever kind of just got pushed to the back of my mind because I got a lot going on. I was also recovering from being sick. I've been sick in the last two videos that I've posted, so I am very happy to not be sick anymore. I've been market prepping like crazy. I made six pink chickens and six charcoal chickens and uh, I found out, I think I said in my last clip, that one skein of this speckle yarn makes six chickens, which is perfect and crazy awesome. I've also been making cows like crazy. I've got two different sizes of cows. This is with a 3.5 millimeter hook, and this is with a 5 millimeter hook. I love how uh, they turn out, and they look so cute with their, their bloom Chanel yarn uh, for their spots. I love how they turned out, so I got two of these pink ones, and then I made two purple ones. This is what the purple ones look like. I like the little yellow speckling in their spots. It kind of reminds me of, like, lemonade, lavender lemonade or something like that. I love the purple. And then I am still working on the big one of this blue one, but I have two blue ones. I have the head made of this blue one. I have to finish that one tonight. So yeah, been making cows, lots of cows. Um, and I'm also prepping to do another Amigurumi free pattern review for my Instagram review series. Um, I think I'm going to test six patterns. Um, only two of those patterns are kind of big patterns. Um, the rest of them are really small. I want to kind of figure out what I want to prep on my cruise when I have free time and we're just like hanging out. Um, my husband's bringing some books to read when we're just like lounging in the sun. I'm gonna bring crochet. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make some of the things I've ran out of. I don't have any chubby frogs. So I'm going to bring green yarn to do chubby frogs. That's a pretty easy thing to make. And then I'm thinking about doing mini whales, mini axolotls, mushrooms, or my daisy turtle turtles on the cruise. Um, we'll see. And then it'll, it'll be determined after I do these reviews for these Instagram tutorials because that will kind of inspire me about what I want to make on the cruise, I think. So I'm going to go test some amigurumi patterns from Instagram. Be on the lookout for that video next week. And if you really enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you will know whenever I post a video. I post new videos every Friday, and I will see you next Friday. Thanks for watching.